On the road this morning, we have headed to Harbor Lights in Warwick to chat all about a big event coming to their golf course. It's called Chip for Charity. It's a nine-hole golf tournament with a special million-dollar hole to top it all off. That's where we find Michaela this morning outside the par and tackle. How's it going out there, Michaela? You have a beautiful day. We could not ask for better golf weather. The sun is shining. The humidity is down. I'm in a good mood. You're hearing the faint sound of, of people swinging their clubs and hitting the ball in the distance. And we have a great tournament to tell you all about. For that, we bring in Lee Velivo from CCAP. Welcome. Thank you. We're glad to have you here. It is a gorgeous setting. I mean, we've got the water in the background. Nine holes in store for a great tournament mm -hmm. ahead in just a couple of weeks. Yes, it starts... Uh, it's on, on September 13th, and uh, we're here to promote our uh, Million Dollar Hole in One challenge that's going on, starting the 3rd to the 13th. So, so how does it work? I mean, a chance for a million dollars sounds yeah. pretty good to me. Well, we have a qualifying round, which is open to the public, and it's uh, a ball for $5, three for $10, mm -hmm. and the closest to the pin, two people from the, the public will go on for a million dollars at the tournament, and two people from the tournament will go on as with them. So four people will go on for a million dollars on the 13th. That sounds so exciting. So that chance at a million dollars, or to qualify, I should say, is from the 3rd to the 13th. On the actual 13th, what does the tournament consist of? Well, we, it's a um, nine-hole golf tournament. We have a morning round and an afternoon round. Uh, we're almost sold down on it, so if anybody wants to sign up, just go to www.comcap.org, mm -hmm. and we can still uh, accommodate you for the morning rounds. But um, So we have the golfers go out in the morning and afternoon, and then we have the million-dollar hole-in-one reception in the evening. Awesome. And we have a lot of fans that come in and, and and root on the, uh, uh, the the four people who are going to go for the million dollars. So and, it's a lot of fun. And it's here at Harbor Lights for the fourth year? Fourth year. This is the second year that we've done the million dollars, but the mm -hmm. fourth year that the tournament's been here, and they do a great job for us. Yeah, well, it looks like a beautiful setting, and best of luck to everyone. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yep. I'm going to segue over to Al Valenta. He's the golf pro here. Mm -hmm. at Al, we're in a very special spot. What hole are we on? This is the fifth hole. And this is also the qualifying hole qualifying for, the, for, for that million one. dollar hole in one shot. Yes, it is. If anyone is going to take this on and take on this shot, do you have any tips for golfers or, or some amateurs out there well, to keep in mind? Yeah, a, a couple tips. Uh, teaching all these years, the biggest thing I see in golf is people get stuck. They're, they they stay still. Uh huh. Okay, so when you go through the shot, you always want to turn forward. That's it. Get okay. move, move, you movement move of the hit. Towards hits. your target. Okay? okay, that'll advance the ball towards the hole, and maybe you make the hole in one. How about for a grip? If if you know you're right handed, I'm right handed. Yeah. So where should my hands go? I, I like to get my thumbs right down the middle, mm -hmm. and I use the overlap. The right pinky goes over the left index. The biggest thing is to get your thumbs on top of the club. Okay. Right down the middle. That's the most important thing mm -hmm. when you start when you're playing golf is to get a correct grip. And then keep your eye on that ball. Keep your eye on the ball and turn through it. Turn towards your target. Should I give it a try? Sure, should. All right. T set me up here. Let's make sure you grip it. Let's see. Your left well, hand on first. hang on. Like, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring him in. Right. Why don't you give me a ball? Let's bring it over here. Don't get it. Well. Got my grip. Okay. I'm yelling on a golf course. Probably not the best idea. That's okay. Okay. That grip is good. We stand up a little taller. Here we go. Well, not my best. I'm going to ask Al for another lesson in the future. We'll be here all morning long. We're going to chat more about CCAP, tell you what it is that they do, and then chat more about this facility. It is beautiful, and it's so peaceful. Stick around. This morning, we are headed out on the road to a golf course that is helping to raise funds for families in need. Harbor Lights is getting ready for the fourth annual Chip for Charity nine-hole golf tournament. And that's where we find Michaela Johnson this morning, ready to tell us more about this great event. I'm going to send one right down to the fairway. Here we go. And Michaela, how's it looking out there? Hey, it's beautiful. I'll tell you what, this course is filling up. So many golfers uh, warming up, taking some practice shots are going to want to jump in on that opportunity for a chance at a million dollars, too. Uh, but we talked about the tournament in our first segment. Joanne McGonigal joins us from CCAP to chat more about the organization itself. And Joanne, it, it's such a, a vital thing in our community. Can you chat a little bit more about what it is that you guys do? Of course, Comprehensive Community Action is a very large human service agency. We were, we're 
been around for 52 years. We provide a variety of services. We have four health centers, dental clinics, behavioral health, mm -hmm. uh, child care, case management services, a food bank. Um, we really pride ourselves in being able to provide as many services possible to a client so that they only have to go to one place in, in the cities that we cover. Obviously, having um, tournaments to keep things going or fundraisers of any kind are, are so important. They're absolutely important. Uh, we have about 72 different sources of revenue coming into our organization, many grant-funded, private um, funding sources. But the problem we find is almost on a weekly basis, we have people coming in who either fall between the cracks or they have an issue that we simply don't have funding for. Yeah. Um, so this type of fundraising really provides the, the, the ability for us to provide those services to those people. And we mentioned that this is the fourth tournament mm. held here benefiting CCAP. What have you done with the funds over those years? Maybe given a couple of examples of actually where our money is going toward. Sure. We have two um, big needs that continue to be um, up in the forefront. <clears throat> Excuse me. The first is housing. Yeah. People come to us um, constantly needing rental assistance. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's no surprise that the cost of housing is sky high. Yeah. So people come up with issues. You know, they've had a fire. They've had um, some type of a break in income. Something Thing has happened that has made them on the brink of homelessness. That you're unprepared for. You, exactly. Not even, you know, your, your <clears throat> little funds in your savings account can help you exactly. out. Exactly. They have car repairs, something. Yeah. Um, so we need to really provide some interventions and be be there to help them to pay for their housing costs. Another is food. Um, we are in the process of renovating our food bank and actually changing the way we provide that assistance so people can come in and actually shop for their food. They can pick whatever they want off the shelves mm -hmm. instead of us, you know, handing them a prepackaged bag. That must make them feel good too because it almost, you know, no one wants to be in those dire straits. No one really wants to come see you guys as no. nice and as kind as they are but you know if you can almost make it seem like a normal environment mm -hmm. almost as if they're going to the market like mm -hmm. this is a normal day-to-day -day thing I bet that even helps absolutely you know one of our favorite <clears throat> excuse me our favorite phrases is poverty is not a lifestyle of, of choice mm -hmm. no one wants to be able to, to come into a food bank right so being able to pick what they want uh, it's a wonderful thing. It really is. And it's a wonderful thing. This golf tournament is happening again. Thank you so much yes. for sharing more details on CCAP. Uh, when we come back, we'll chat more about this beautiful facility as well. So stick around. Hey, you know, it is a beautiful day. You can see the water behind me. We've been in such a gorgeous location all morning long, so we figured we'd tell you a little bit more about it. And for that, we bring in Chef Ray. I'll tell you what, if, if Harbor Light sounds familiar for a lot of folks out there, maybe they've been to an event here, or a wedding, or maybe they just hung out at the pool. Tell us a little bit about the facilities you have here. So we've got a lot of things going on here. We have the golf course. We have par and tackle which is our upscale, casual, really cool farm-to-table, mm -hmm. pub menu, all sorts of things you can get on there. And those Adirondack chairs just provide a beautiful Absolute view. Comfort. Those are calling my name. Oh, yeah. uh, as we keep kind of going to the left there, then you have your, your banquet facility that can hold a lot of people. We can do uh, 250 people up there. Wow. Uh, we do our weddings right out in the lawn. You can get married right there in front of the ocean view. And that you have a gorgeous lawn over there. And then beyond, you can kind of see some happenings, the, the gate, an upper deck. What's over there? So that's the Tiki Bar with uh -huh. our infinity pool and our Tiki truck. So we've got open to the public, come on down, sit by the pool, have a drink, have some food, have some tacos. Mm -hmm. And then you can take in, the, if you want to go in the pool, yep. you can purchase a day pass for that as well. We've got a few more weeks of really good summer coming. Awesome. And some great food, too, oh, yeah. while you're here. I mean, you're the chef. You can hype that up do a little bit, too. Yeah. Uh, what, what sort of variety do you guys provide here? So down there at the, at the pool mm -hmm. is fast casual. Nice. It's uh, like that. quick smash burgers, tacos, salads, mm -hmm. wraps, quesadillas, really quick, easy stuff. And then up at Par and Tackle, you've got, again, more upscale casual food. It's a really yeah. cool pub menu, a lot of farm-to-table stuff. Got a couple of nice entrees on there. The burgers, awesome. we sell so many. They're good. intense. It, it sounds so delicious. I also noticed that they have the road show on one of those monitors up at Par and Tackle, oh, too. Yeah. So nicely done, Ray. Nice job. Um, and don't forget about the great golf tournament coming, too. We were hearing about CCAP earlier, Lee, and, and you mentioned this great golf tournament. It's nice, and it's also, uh, it sounds 
handleable for people that don't want to take on 18 exactly. holes. Exactly. That nine. a lot of our business people love the fact that it's nine hole that they don't have to take the whole day out, and uh, so we sell out quickly. So, mm -hmm. um, and then the million dollar reception will be right up at the par and tackle. Yeah. So this is going to be our view for the reception that evening. So. Again, those dates. I mean, it starts right on Labor Day, it's right the up the third. qualifying. It actually starts uh, the day after okay. uh, September 3rd through the 13th, and then on the 13th is the tournament, and at six o'clock, uh, everyone comes for a million dollars right here. So hopefully we can give it away. You know, we want to give that million dollars away. I want to give away a million dollars. No, no. I want to be the recipient <laughs> of the million dollars. Uh, and thank you so much for sharing thank details you for coming. on that. We really tournament. appreciate you guys coming out today. Hey, beautiful day like this. I, I'm going to stay for longer. Actually, Al, can I call you back in? I want to try my hand at putting. Now, I took a swing earlier, and uh, it didn't quite go as planned. So I'm thinking maybe uh, putting is more my forte, and I think he's got a... A putter and a ball in hand. Let's go. Let's, I'm going to go for a, a long shot here. Toss it out there for me, Al. Let's see. One-handed at that. A mic in one. A mic in one hand. A putter in the other. And not too bad. All right, a little two putt to the hole. If you want to come check things out, it's a beautiful course. Don't forget, it's also our roadie deal of the day over at roadiedeals.com.